So, Hades. Well, actually, Hades 2. The roguelite game where you play a goddess with daddy issues who dies over and over again in hopes of getting stronger so that one day she can beat time. Now, who wants to run through hell for hours so that maybe at some point you get all the roles right and play the build you want when you can just do this? This is a loadout mod thing. No longer do you have to watch YouTube guides and hope to construct the same build. Now you can watch YouTube guides, click on boons you need and play the build. You know, kind of similar to all those other build guide sites or League of Legends, Dota, PoE or pretty much any game that has any concept of builds and min-maxing to the point where the game proves that it was never about the build but a crippling skill issue. And with that thought process, I wanted to program fun out of yet another game. So how does this work? Well, let me tell you, this was a long, painful and miserable process. And it was definitely not the easiest game to mod. Don't believe what people on the internet tell you. Take it from me, a person on the internet who's never made a mod before. And just how miserable this was? Let me just say this was the third idea after my attempt at adding infinite encounters and Slay the Spire dungeon map failed. This one somehow worked after days of learning about Hades modding. Hades modding? Isn't this Hades 2? Yeah, we'll get to that. Mod importers crying about debug mode not working and understanding why is Lua the way it is. But let me back up a bit to a time when I thought this was going to be the easiest project ever. When you open up Hades 2 script files, you read it with a whole bunch of functions that do a whole lot of things. You also have access to hero data, game state. It's all very clear and straightforward. Change of value here. Oh, HP went up. Call a function there. Oh, all keepsakes are unlocked. But that's how they get you in. This is programming 101 all over again. You declare a couple of variables, make some loops, call some functions, and you think to yourself, man, in two years time, I could be the one making life of an ex-Google programmer videos. This is when reality kicks in. When it came to actually making something useful, I realized I was locked up in these scripts like I never had a driver's license. There was no file reading or writing. There was no accessing clipboard data. I couldn't even get a debug to work. Wait, did you say clipboard data? Why would you need that? Glad you asked. So at this point, I should probably explain the idea behind the whole damn thing. I wanted to have a list of loadouts on a website where people could post them and you could just click on a loadout or a build and paste it into the game. Yeah, paste it as in control C, control V. This was a bit optimistic, but we'll get to that. So in order to achieve this, I needed the game mod to listen to some click, button press, something. Then on a button click, I could grab data from clipboard that was written by the web app, in this case, a string, and just parse it into mod and apply it to the game. But that's just too straightforward. Why would that work? The best thing I could do was hook into existing events and do something with it. However, that would not be ideal because you don't want to be importing builds every time you click an attack button. Once again, I gotta remind you, I never made a mod before, so you can see where my troubles come from. Basic understanding of how things work. But that was not gonna stop me. I prefer doing everything wrong until I eventually fall into somewhat acceptable solution that works in very specific conditions. Also, remember when I said I was doing the research for modding Hades and I pretended to be you asking me what the fuck I thought this was Hades 2? Yeah, at this point, I found out that modding Hades 1 is not the same thing as modding Hades 2. You could say, obviously, but at this point in time, my mind thought, same game, same mechanics, similar files, why wouldn't it work? Luckily, smarter people on the internet that I could leech off of exist. And so I found this holy place and this repo. Turns out I just needed a completely different mod loader and a completely different mod structure. You need this file here, this file, this looks like this. And after some tinkering, I got it in order. This baby can listen to button clicks, it can read from files. It's great. It's everything I ever wanted. This piece of code right here is the very foundation upon which this mod stands. And if at some point in time, the devs decide that this part of code can no longer interact with the game, well, fuck. Side note, the development process of coding, zipping, importing, booting, the game makes me want to blow my brains out, but we'll ignore that part. Let's see what this code here does. IO library allows you to do a couple of things, execute commands or interact with files. At first, I tinkered with command execute. I thought I just just get file contents into std out and use it but that was just unnecessary you can just read files now when reading a file like this it comes out as a string and that's not what we need we need a table or a dictionary or an object so because i cannot import random lua modules i brought this great lua json parser that takes yeah just kidding i found this in some repo it works it's great so here i can click a button read my file pass it down to my setup loadout function and we're done 
Actually, no, we're not done because so far we've only managed to read file and load it into the game, but we still don't have a web app where you can create these loadouts. So here's a quick montage of how it was done. At the moment, there is no full list of boons and items from the game, and this does not have some database where it stores all the data. It just persists locally. Good enough. Oh, also, I couldn't be bothered to actually publish the mod, so I got repo links, though. So there you go. If you want to play the builds you actually want to play in Hades 2, just use loadouts.